Hey everyone, it's Brittany here at Big Cat Rescue with another home tour. And this time it is with Jinx, our black leopard. Very excited to show you his new space. He recently moved from this enclosure that's right next door and got a huge upgrade. He is 21 years old. He's currently our only leopard and he's a black leopard, so he has melanism. It's a melanistic trait that is something that is naturally occurring in nature. Hopefully we will find him along the way. So what I'm gonna do, because so many people have the misconception that our cages are small and it couldn't be further from the truth. So I'm gonna walk from this spot right here and we're gonna go all the way around his entire enclosure. Might take a little while, so settle in. I do want to start here with this feature though. You'll see that there are these little boxes hanging off of the enclosure and there's longer pieces that go up to the top there. And what this is, is a tunnel system. We can lower the sides and the floor and the ceiling and hook it all together. And Jinx can walk himself across the street to our 22,000 square foot funcation enclosure. And they get to do that for two weeks at a time. We rotate all the cats back and forth because captivity is super boring for a cat that should have been born wild and free. Since they were born in cages, they can never be set free. Therefore, we try endlessly to find ways to occupy their time. So we would lift these doors that are down, put the tunnel together and send him across the street to a whole new area. He has this nice big platform here. We try to keep our enclosures as natural as possible while still keeping them very clean. We do a lot of raking of leaves. We replant grass seed every year. You can see he has a concrete den back there and it actually does have a guillotine door on it in case uh, we ever need to close him out of it. Say we were gonna sedate him for an exam and we don't want him to go into that den where it would be impossible to pull him out. We could close that. Luckily for us, Jinx is very smart and he's really good at operant conditioning. So if we do need to move him or take him in for an exam, we usually don't need to sedate in the enclosure. We can get him in a transport cage and then sedate him for any kind of exam. So over here, he now has a safety entrance on this side where we can access the bubble I just showed you, or we can access the bubbles that go back there. That's if we ever have to go in to do raking or any kind of maintenance. He's got this tree stump den up on top of this hill. It's a fun place for him to flat cat behind it. Hopefully we'll see flat cat along the way. So this is his feeding lockout. There's a layer of chicken wire around the food plate in the water just to keep vultures and birds from trying to um, mess with him while he's eating. There's a plate on top that keeps any kind of falling debris out of his water. Our cleaners come around every day and then our double checkers follow them. And that's in order for us to make sure we clean their food plates and their water bowls every single day. There's a guillotine door on the back of it so before we come out to feed, before we've ever brought food out to the enclosure, we close the cats out of those feeding lockouts to make it safe for our feeders and for our cats. So I'm just gonna skim this way. Lots of palmettos. He's having a really fun time chewing on all of those. His last enclosure had almost none left. <laughs> you can see that here is a tunnel that takes him from that front bubble and then he has this kind of secluded bubble back here with another safety entrance in case we need to get in there for any reason. There are real trees in there that he can rub against and chew on and hide behind. Sadly, Jinx was declawed by his previous owner, so he doesn't have the joy of clawing to mark his territory. So I'm just gonna walk you guys around this back bubble can see that there is a support column in the middle. He does have a roof. Leopards are one of the smartest of all the cats. So it definitely needs a roof. Another view back towards the tunnel. So we are just gonna keep trekking along. He has a lot of space. He's 
21, so we have to watch his mobility, but he also has spent his entire life in a cage and not very good ones up until he came here about five years ago. So anytime we can upgrade the cats on their space, we certainly do our best. So another view of that very first platform that we saw. Big tree, his den, yet another tunnel. So if we wanna shift him in or out of that section, we can close those doors. That platform's the first thing he got on top of when he got over here. <laughs> he has another den and some toys back here. You'll notice a couple feeding lockouts as we go around that have been closed and clipped shut. That's because we're only filling and cleaning every other one because he has a ton of space. So there's a door right there that leads him back into this section. This is one of his favorite sections. He has been just destroying the palmettos in this section. He's got one of his favorite uh, blue balls over there. That thing will get thrown into the air and bounce off the ceiling and all the sides. what he's been doing to his palmettos. Just shredding them. <laughs> so he also really loves this section. So yet another little tunnel with doors on either side. And this is where he's currently hoarding all of the things that roll. All of his different toys and balls are back here. There's also a lot of saw grass that he can chew on. There's Manny in the background being like, what are you doing? Do you have snacks? He's got a donut toy over here. So there's another feeding lockout that does have a water bowl in it and another tree stump den. There's another little doorway tunnel. And on the other side, there's a safety gate. So he has this big section. There's another low platform and another tree stump den. Can't wait to see where he's gonna be hiding when we get over there. <laughs> I saw where he was in the beginning, but it'll be fun to see where he ends up. Knowing I'm lingering back here. So another view, his den and his platform. Another long tunnel leading him to another section, a lockout area that we don't utilize for him. He recently was given that toy there and had a great time. He did eventually get the little blue ball out of it. So now it's just a like a waffle ball. <laughs> He's got a den opening on this side, some tree stumps, Another very big tunnel that leads him into this section. You can see that he has a tube. So this is part of our daily enrichment. We do all sorts of enrichment here. Again, as I mentioned, captive cats in cages. That's a horrible life for them to have to live and there's never gonna be a cage big enough. So we tirelessly think up ideas of just how to make their quality of life better. So they get permanent enrichment like the dens and the toys and then this tube right here most likely had some kind of spice or perfume on it. Something he can lick and roll around and chew on. And then we do all kinds of seasonal enrichment. Pumpkins, watermelons, Christmas trees, you name it, we've tried it. Another view here. There's another lockout on that side that we're not using for him. But then there's this long tunnel here into this big section. So he's got lots of trees. You can see that the discoloration on the tree there. It's most likely been rubbing or scratching even though he doesn't have claws. They still have a lot of force behind those feet of theirs. He's got like a ground platform and some more toys over here. Looks like he's still in the same spot he was. I thought maybe he'd start creeping on us, but he didn't. So 
around this corner. You can see again what he's been doing to his palmettos. Manny followed us all the way over here to say hi. He's got some more daily enrichment and some more permanent enrichment. And then he's got this huge platform. And there he is. Hi, sir. I thought you would come around. Hi, this is Jinx. We just, we just showed them almost your whole house. Yeah, I thought maybe you'd give us a tour. No? You giving us a tour? So he's got a multiple level platform. You can see his spots. He really is a leopard. He's just got melanism. You're a melanistic leopard. Yeah. So he has this huge concrete den here. It does have the capability of having air conditioning in it. It's turned off right now though, isn't it? At least you guys can hear me talk then. Usually they're kind of loud. So his platform has a ramp on the front. And then there's some safety features so that because he's 21, you do not want him jumping off the top of that platform. So there's cage wire around the top and then there's those slats around the middle so that he can never just get too excited about treats or food and come flying off the side there. Is he not the most handsome guy you've ever seen? There's that den. You are so handsome. All right, well, we'll never end this tour if I stay here with him as much as I'm sure you all want me to. So he's got another tree stump den here. He's got another feeding lockout option over here. So say we needed to do work all the way on the other end, we could easily close him on this side and then he would have access to a food plate and a water bowl. So now we're pretty much gonna see everything we saw just from the opposite angle. So you've got another safety entrance to access either of these two sections. He's got another lockout with a water bowl here. The tunnel that goes around and across. Another lockout that is currently clipped shut. His big yellow ball, which he absolutely loves. Another angle for that section. Another tunnel that leads back over to here. Anytime you see this white PVC with the levers on that, those are sprinkler systems. Here is the view of the other safety entrance so we can access either of these sections if ever needed. Got a water bowl and a feeding lock out here. All the way around. It's an absolutely beautiful enclosure and he totally deserves it. If you ever want to learn about Jinx, you can find his information at bigcatrescue.org slash Jinx. Now we are back to that original platform. You'll notice something about these large concrete dens is that we do put little windows in them. Again, with our elderly community, we wanna make sure we always get eyes on them. We are right back to his original platform across from the Funcation enclosure. So if you ever have questions about our cages, just go to bigcatrescue.org slash cages. And please feel free to share these videos because we really want people to understand that there's way more than you might just see in one photo or one video clip. So uh, we do everything we can to give these cats the best life we can. And it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you.